Hey friends, welcome back. So first off, can I just say, I am so happy that you guys enjoyed the video yesterday. Um, I, if I would have been thinking, I should have inserted the clip of like, or took a screenshot of Katie's text because she had actually texted me on the way home. So um, it's funny because she does that quite often. You know, hey, can I cook dinner tonight? Um, tonight, I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen alone. She had her first EOG today. She is back there doing whatever it is teens do. Um, and my chicken is finally thawed out. So I am doing chicken wings tonight. These are chicken wings that I got on clearance at IGA or reduced. It's not really clearance, but it's marked down meat. Um, so, and I'm actually going to do them in the oven. Now, I have a ton of different sauces, but we're going to get to the sauces later what i need to do first is because these are the whole wing i'll show you before i go pausing you um let's see here but no i am i'm very happy that you enjoyed it um i have told her she needs to go read those comments and stuff um and because she was very happy so basically all i'm gonna do Hopefully this knife is sharp enough. If not, I'll get a different knife. It is a whole wing. We can eat them like that, but I'm not putting, usually I do that if I'm doing them on the grill. Um, I am honestly just going to butcher them and put them on a sheet pan right now. And you have your flats and your drums. I do not waste the drumettes either. These will, add, or the little flappers, these will go back into a Ziploc bag and go back into the freezer. These will then be pulled out when I pull out all the chicken scraps to make chicken broth. So for those, I'm just putting them in a bowl. So all I'm going to do is just cut some chicken. And yes, I do not like to handle raw chicken. So if I have gloves on hand, I'm going to be wearing them. I don't like raw chicken. So I am just going to sit here or stand here and continue to cut all these chickens. Once I have it cut, I will bring you guys back so that you can see how I plan on seasoning these. All right, guys, so I have all the chicken wings cut, uh, the flapper from the drumette and all the, well, the flats, the drumettes and the flappers, these will be frozen again, used to make chicken stock. So we have a lot. These are all the flats. These are the drumettes. I did not count them all, it's okay. I'm going to just do a seasoning. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's see here, cause I'm gonna do different sauces on them. So I don't really want too much like of a crazy seasoning. I am gonna do some like barbecue-y ones. So these back here on the smaller tray will be the sweeter barbecue style. Um, cause I have several different barbecue ones. So we'll just put some dry seasoning on there. Then we have, I'll put some blackened seasoning on some of these, not too much because like I said, these are all going to have like a wet sauce on them. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I just, I like to season everything, season all the layers, lots of flavor, nothing left out. these because it's not going to dissolve or mix up I'm just going to do uh, the, the fine black pepper and salt instead of the cracked We don't want them too salty. All right, that's it right now, guys. Take these gloves off. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss these in the oven, then I'm gonna come back and show you the different sauces that I'm going to sauce these in in batches so we have several different ones to try. And by the way, this looks like a lot of wings, but I'm telling you right now, this family of four can go through some wings. And 
And yes, I am cooking them in the oven. Why? Because I don't have enough grease to pull the deep fryer out. And plus, I don't really want to deep fry. There's other things I need to do, so I can let them cook in the oven while I go do other things. But before I go do other things, let's see here, move you guys. Some of the sauces that I'm working with, and what I may do is ask each one, hey, Come here, look at the sauces, tell me which ones do you like, what sounds good to you. I may not use them all, but what I'm working is, working with is I have this Asian style barbecue. I have your classic Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce. Maison Mango, and if you guys remember, I got these marked down at a dollar a piece. But yeah, Maison Mango. And then we have a Sticky teriyaki. This is going to be more of your sweet one. It's just a mild barbecue. I gave 99 cents for that one. These, we have a bourbon peach barbecue wing sauce. We have a honey hot barbecue. So we're working with several different options. And like I said, when you go to a wing restaurant, you get to choose one or two sauces. So what I may do is ask them, hey, tell me one or two and sauce them that away so that everybody's getting what they like. Um, and if they want to try something different, you know, hey, let me trade one of you for the, or maybe I'll just split them up and do some of each. I don't know, guys, but I like to see what they like or what sounds good to them. So you guys be patient. I understand that this is going to be kind of a shorter video because there's really, what are you going to do? Just sit here and watch the oven just do its thing? Because honestly, if I'm wise with my time, I can be doing other things right now. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys go do what you got to do. Well, actually, you're not because this video goes straight into the next thing. You won't really be waiting around. Um, but I'm going to go do, get some stuff done. I need to get some laundry started. Um... And just do some random picking up, wiping up down at the counters. Just simple things. So, all right, guys. I will return. All right, guys. So, they're out of the oven. And we just have some nice cooked wings. I need... What do I need? I did not ask anybody what they liked. So, I'm just going to do a variety. What do I need? What do I need? I don't really want to dirty any more dishes either, guys. They're super hot, too. They just came out. I guess I'll just get some bowls. So I have a dishwasher. So, how has your week been, guys? For you, when you're seeing this, it's going to be Friday, and that means we made it through another week. Oh, we did it, guys. Another week. All right. So, I said we are going to do a sweet one, and these are the ones I seasoned with, like, um, uh, um, 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 what's it called? Um, brown sugar, uh, barbecue dry seasoning. one and I know that I could take put it on there the sauce and then put it back in the oven um, I'm not stressing all that this will be just fine right here so this is just gonna be a super simple mild barbecue well if we can get it open it's gonna be a mild barbecue guys Let's just, I don't really 
definitely want to dirty a bunch of bowls. So what I'm probably going to do is rinse this bowl out. I'll put those back. Um, let's slide all this down off of the paper. Why is the parchment paper wanting to do that? And crack. Maybe because I had it stuck in my head. There we go. on a sheet as we season them. I'll just rinse the bowl out in between them as we sauce them up. That works. One dirty bowl versus a bunch. So let's see if we can remember this guys. What I'll do is I will line the sauces up behind where it's going so that when they come to make a plate they know what they're getting. That is not flat. There we go. That'll be better. So we'll put the barbecue right there on this end. Do you guys love wings as much as we do? I know some people do and some people, they don't like bone in meat at all. Uh, we love wings, so we'll just take and drizzle that over the top. Now guys, I'm just gonna rinse this out because I'm using the same bowl. All right. Now, we need to make sure we're including the um, drum, the flat in with the drumette. We have a mild barbecue. I want to do a hot honey barbecue. Probably have to open it. Yep. What is your favorite wing seasoning also or wing sauce? And also, wherever you're at, what is your favorite wing restaurant or wing place? I know a lot of us, we don't go out to eat a lot because we can't afford to, but we still typically have a favorite wing place. them directly on it and not even try to toss them let's see here we want to kind of try to keep them a little separate so everybody knows what's what and what I'll do is I'll just go back over it that's what I'll do let's move move down We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, guys, let's see here. So we have a mild barbecue, a honey hot barbecue, bourbon peach barbecue. So this will be our barbecue tray. Well, um, I think there's another barbecue flavored one too. Ooh, that actually smells really good. All right. So let's do it this way and see. We can just use the fork to kind of toss them. Possibly. I don't know, guys. I'm just trying to figure it out the best way. If I was doing all one flavor, I would just put them, you know, mix them all up. But 
we want to try the different sauces because we get the different sauces here and there, especially at the food pantries or whenever I get them on sale, like um, at our discount stores. It's like, you know, you want to try them. But what if you don't really care for it? You don't want everything to taste like that. All right. So we have some of that. I'll just right over top. Close it up. So there's that one. Three different flavors. Let's see here. Teriyaki. I think the amazing mango. The Asian style maybe. Let's see here. We have to do some classic um, buffalo. That's going to be a given. That's a must have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. All right, so we're gonna do two more flavors, guys. We'll make the end down here a um, buffalo. said we wanted to try the Maisin Mango because I know one of our favorite sauces uh, both Josh and myself we do really like what's called Mango Habanero which a lot of places have well this is just called Mango Maisin Mango I don't know if we're gonna like that though so to try it one two three one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works. We have two two more. So that's what I'll do. As I'll do maize and mango. Oh, that's a little bit on the liquid side too. We'll do those right there. And then we'll do the um, Asian style barbecue right here. So we ended up not doing the teriyaki, which probably would have been good too, but I can use that on like a teriyaki chicken over rice. I'm not even gonna to toss those because I don't wanna make a mess. Oh, we gotta put them where they were. Asian style, tangy. Check it out guys. I can put these bowls up because I didn't use them. All right. And to go with this, I ended up tossing everything last night together uh, that I cut up for a salad. And so we have wings and salad. Now, like I said, I put the raw zucchini in my salad last night. And can I just say that was actually really delicious. I was very happy with it. And that makes me super happy because I planted zucchini. So now there's another way that I'll eat zucchini raw in a salad i don't have to cook it that was actually very very pleasant um so guys we're having salad and wings oh i put the wrong thing that goes there this is not open One, two, three, four. Oops. 
Might need some ranch to dip it in. I don't know. Might need ranch on the salad. Um, yeah, I'll probably do ranch on a salad. Not everybody is gonna probably want a salad tonight. Um, that's fine, I'm not gonna force them to. I did get everyone to eat a salad last night. And the reason being is because I did mix everything together and not everybody likes all the toppings on their salad. Not around here, they don't. Me, I do. But I'm also the one that loves the salad. All right. So I have a salad on the side and I want one of these, one of these, one of these, all right. I know what the buffalo ones taste like, but we're still gonna get one. So there you guys have it, salad, wings, dinner served guys. I know, like I said, this is a shorter video. It's not super short, but it's not an hour long. Um, but guys, it's a Thursday evening and dinner's ready. So, <sighs> I know one thing, I was in bed um, like a little after eight yesterday and I don't think it took me very long to actually go to sleep. I think I was out, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the kids in here. I'm gonna tell Josh and we're gonna sit down and eat some wings and maybe I won't be the only one to eat a salad. I'll have to let you guys know. Um, until next time, take care my friends.